Monique Head here, Relationship Coach to Passionate Marriage Minded Women. And today, I want to share with you the internal battle that happens for a lot of us women. It's the internal battle that might be keeping men at bay. And oftentimes it pushes love away. And this is what it is it's the internal battle between your desire to be seen and also your fear of being seen. Okay, you see, because in order for us to be seen, it's going to require you to let your guard down, to open up your heart, to risk the fear, right? Risk the fear of whatever it is, of embarrassment, of seeming the fear of maybe being taken advantage of, the fear that, you know, uh, of seeming desperate or even rejected. All of these things that can really happen in our heads and it keeps men at bay. It really pushes love away. And you'll know this because you'll know that you don't have trouble attracting men, but you really have trouble really um, creating and having a meaningful relationship, a meaningful relationship with the man that you believe in, a deserving man, right? Someone that you feel is deserving. And this is really rooted in fear, as I mentioned before, and what you want and what is necessary for you right now as a woman so that you can close that um, gap really and, and let go of that fear of being seen is to feel safe and to feel protected, okay? And this is another gift that you have is that you get to encourage that man to step up to the plate, right? Because when you share something with you, he's going to be able to hold what you have with warmth and tenderness and really guard it. You can really guard it if you allow him the opportunity, if you create that opportunity for your feminine nature to be noticed in that way. Okay, and so you know, not too long ago, I've been watching this series on um, on Netflix. It's called Once Upon a Time, and this is a really cool series where it's like the intersection of reality versus fairy tale. And one of my favorite characters, Rumpelstiltskin, and, the, and this is a total spoiler, spoiler alert too. One of my favorite characters, Rumpelstiltskin, gets somehow gets Belle of, the, of Beauty and the Beast to live with him forever. And Belle falls for him. She begins to fall in love. And Rumpelstiltskin has this affliction where he has this uh, dark power. And it shows up really in his skin. Um, and he's seen as this beast. And he doesn't believe because of that. He doesn't believe that he can be loved. He doesn't believe that anyone would love him without really having an ulterior motive. But Belle does. Belle loves him. And so he gets an opportunity to decide whether to... Half true love's kiss with Belle or or not. And so he chose not to because what Belle acknowledged as his cowardice because he doesn't believe that anyone could love him because he pushes it away because of his own disbelief, because of his fear of losing the power or just really the fear that it's not possible. All the stories that he has really going on in his head. And so oftentimes that can happen for women like us, right? Where, you know, the, we have a story in our head. Maybe there's a past experience and it really keeps us trapped. And it's so hurtful because um, you have a lot of love to give. You're an amazing, wonderful woman and you want to be able to share your life with someone, right? You want to be able to have that meaningful um, connection with the man who gets you. And the only way for him to get you is to allow him to get you, right? To see both the good parts of you and the not so good parts of you and put him in choice so that you can also be in choice, all right? So here's what you want to do. When those moments come up of fear where you want to um, say something, your heart is telling you to say one thing, but your head is really going in a different direction and you're not really sure how to move. So you follow your head because you feel as though you can trust it. And it's time for you now as the alluring woman, as a woman who's operating with her feminine allure to begin to follow her heart in, in, in terms of love in matters of the heart. So what I want you to do is to begin this practice of identifying how your body feels, right? Let's say that you haven't heard from him in a while. And you want to hear from him. And so what the tendency is, is that when we do hear from him, we can scorn him and scold him. But that's not really who you want to be. You want to create the invitation instead of the manipulation, the control, the obligation that lets him know that you're going to be receptive to his approach so that you can encourage that behavior and, and get what it is that you want. Um, and so you want to listen to your body as a source of information. What is it telling you? It might be saying, hey, let him know that you miss him. It might be saying, hey, let them know that you're hurt. It might be saying, hey, whatever it is that you're afraid to say for fear of seeming something else. Okay, so your body is a source of information. Your body is a source of information. Feel into your body, right? And trust that. 
as a way to be able to make a decision versus always making decisions in your head, the, the logical, the rational part of you. And I totally get it. Your brain is telling you one thing and your brain is wired to detect threat first and safety second. So if you're in your head space, in the brain, in the rational, in the logical space, you're going to respond from a place of defensiveness and threat, come from this place where you detect the threat. Really, you want to Come from this place where you are creating an environment of peace, creating an environment of warmth, and really creating an environment of safety that allows you to be a woman that you're proud of, right? So that you are able to advocate for yourself and what you want without seeming like, you know, a child, but you really get to own your power um, and become this, and speak in a way that's really becoming of you, right? In a way that's powerful and feminine so that you can be heard and he can actually hear you and, and give you what it is that you want because that's what you're attached to. You're attached to the result. Um, you're attached to the to the, the what, not the how it's going to happen, right? Not the how it's going to happen. So trust your body as a source of information. That's the practice for you right now. Begin to practice that every day, listening to your body. What is it telling you? And you'll know because you start to get in your head like, what is this that I'm really feeling? Is this right? Da, da, da. Practice that on your everyday so that what can happen is that as you're practicing this in your everyday, it's forming a habit within you. And the habit is going to become a skill so that it becomes a part of your nature. Okay? And bring and when you can bring that part of what's happening in your everyday, you can bring that to your relationship with an amazing man that you believe in. <laughs> okay? So listen, my name is Monique. I hope that this information shared uh, that I share with you today, you found to be very valuable. Just understanding the internal battle, battle that's happening between your desire to be seen, you want to be noticed, you want to be understood, you want a man who's going to get you and appreciate you and acknowledge you, and then that fear of really being seen, of stepping into the place where you can get that acknowledgement, get that appreciation. And get that fear, and oftentimes it's going to require you to be vulnerable and to let your guard down. And it takes a lot of courage. And I get that sometimes it can be scary. You might want some support in this. Okay, so listen, if you want to learn more about how you can be the woman to get what you who gets everything that she wants, that's what I want to offer you. It's a complimentary video series. You can click the link below in the description box and get it. It's called be the woman who gets everything that she wants. Click the link below if this information served you. Please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Just share with two women that you know, because when you share, you add value. My name is Monique Head. See you in the next video. Take care.